this cute little backpack from backpack what the fuck is a backpack <laughs> it's this cute little backpack from just bad oh, i love backpacks i prefer backpacks and totes no i lie i grew out of totes i'm over totes i prefer backpacks and crossbody bags because i don't have to hold anything it's out of my hands I, boom in the fall time i prefer backpacks so i got this cute little backpack with this faux leather i love the silver i love the gray color and the treatment that the fabric has this hatchwork love that i love this silver hardware and detailings i like the fact that this is not a tiny backpack and it looked like uh, i stole a kid's backpack on my bag on my bag with my ass um i can adjust the straps long or short i have been rocking this for the past week or so since i got it love this little backpack i throw all my stuff in here and i'm good to go Last clothing item is these pair of Converse inspired um, sneakers from Divas. I'm not Diva. Simply B. I think these call their Diva Soul Shoe. I don't know exactly what it's called. I believe in on the screen, but I love these. I got these in my um. I got these in the video that I did back in August for a lookbook that I was doing my my back to school fall lookbook. What my back to school look like. And I absolutely love these. I can throw these on. Put some little baby powder in the shoe. Throw them on. I can wear them with anything. Sneakers. I can wear them with shorts. Dress. Skirts. Absolutely love these. I can dress them up. Dress them down. Love these little sneakers. And they're so comfortable. The great thing about Simply V is that their shoe sizings are made for people who have. They're not all one fit. And they fit so comfortably. So comfortably. Um, Simply V has a lot of different varieties of shoes. They have a narrow, wide feet guys know love these shoes um moving on to my fist i'm gonna first start with my skincare products with skincare products and that is the tony moly moisturizing mask this is the i am real aloe sheet mask these are sheet masks if you find following me on snapchat you see i posted me doing my um nightly routine and adding a sheet mask to it i use these about once a week sometimes every other week i just picked up two more a few days ago because the re-up is where i love these sheet masks i get them from ulta they're about three four dollars um i think that's perfectly working for a sheet mask that does so well you put these or you take them out and it's actually like a you know like a piece of rice paper or some kind of paper and it's cut out like a mask and you put it on your face leave it on there for 20 or 30 minutes you take it off throw it away and you just rub in the moisture, the cream that's left on there and my face is, and I just followed it up with a moisturizer on my face is left hydrated, supple. It just, it brings it back to life, especially if I had a long day and I was wearing makeup or I was out and the, the, the elements were just unkind, unkind to my skin. Love these masks. Um, they have other ones. They have stuff with oatmeal. They have stuff for citrus. They have other little ingredients in here. I like the aloe moisturizing one because that's, sorry, that's particularly what I need for my skin. And these are really hard to come by. I don't know if they, like, they're not doing that well or they're really popular because every time I go in there, I always have to hump for them. They always in the back, the hand stuff. There's only like two or three. Sometimes I'm one. That's why I only get like two at a time because if I saw more of them, I would get like five, ten, hell. They only three four dollars so i think that's worth it you can't you can't pay too much for skincare maybe you can't you you can't be too picky with skincare okay you're gonna have to that's something i i don't i don't do cheap with um next product as far as my face is this maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter and melt it go this has been all over the socials and the medias, all over Snapchat and Instagram. This highlight is just ridiculous. Excuse him with the highlight though. Like this highlight does ex everything that I wish my other highlighters that I love, that I like, did. I don't have to build her up. I don't have to spray my beauty blender or a brush to wet it so that I can get that extra like blending, blinding. This does it off the bat. Now she ain't no trophy wife. She ain't no Fenty Trophy wife, but she do the best that I could do with my budget, okay? I, I can't, I'm not, I'm not on Fenty Trophy wife level, financially, okay? All right? I just spent the money that I could have spent on money buying some skincare because that's what I needed, okay? And this was a treat. 
okay? I brought a foundation that actually matched how I had to mix, okay? So, yeah. Anyway, you guys, this is what she looks like. She's so pretty. So pretty. Like, where are you going? Where, where are you going? So cute. Just, ooh. Mm. Okay, we almost done. Um, next up is my Bogolo. I know I said Bigolo, Bigolo, green tea with pomegranate. You guys know I love tea. I'm an active tea drinker. And green tea is good. It's just a good tea. Just just for the soul for the body and pomegranate y'all know has great properties and a lot of um healthy antioxidants love green tea last two things are books you know you guys know your girl likes to read and a book that i just picked up a day ago i don't do this it's tress's holiday a, a book i picked up a day ago is the not so sweet the not so subtle art of being a fat girl by tress holiday i am a huge huge fan of trust holiday i have been following her for quite a while and so her releasing this book i was over excited i had to get it i have it here on my hopla at um i just really like this i really like her as a person as a model as a person as a plus size girl so i just wanted to read this book just to see what you know droplets of wisdom she'll drop on a sister you know what i'm saying some things i agree with some things i'm like girl that's a little much and some things i'm like girl you don't say it you don't say it nobody will maybe i would in the future but can't nobody hear me yet because i'm only you know so small anywho um <laughs> love love this book if you guys don't know who dress holiday is um what what do you what do you what do you, what do you, what do you she's a size 22 plus supermodel i don't i don't i don't know what you're doing why like, you don't know who she is but you need to get together other book I have been reading, well, I already finished it, but I absolutely love and obsessed with, and that is um, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This book was so fun. This was a book. I have the audio book. It is on Audible. It's so fun. I love, I love my Audible subscription. You guys need to wear that one. sponsor me. Hey. I love my Audible <laughs> subscription. I, I love getting new books. Anywho, this book was so fun. Monty is a young lord of 1970. No, 19. He's a young lord of 17th century, 1700 London. And he is preparing to go on his grand tour. Grand tour is a tour for young aristocrats and nobility to tour the great continent, which is England, France, Italy, Norway, Germany, all those uh, before they settle, before they get married, go off to um, college or take over their father's family estates and companies and businesses, whatever. And Monty is a very interesting and very entertaining, not only character, but a uh, person of view. And he's bisexual as well as he has a huge, huge crush on his best friend, Percy. And his sister also goes with them on this tour and he's not really that is about that i actually like his sister a little bit more than monty i wish we could hear from her point of view i really would love a spinoff seriously from his sister's point of view because she is such an interesting character i don't want to spoil anything but she's such an interesting character that was a, quite a, a, a great twist on this this person that was behind you know the perception that um monty had of her she was a great twist and i would love to hear from her so those are my two books i've been reading i don't have a favorite song oh yes i do i have thunder by image dragons i cannot play it. i will leave a link to that spotify list below but thunder by uh, image dragons is my jam i've been playing on a repeat every time i sit down on my computer thunder i hit the thunder lightning and the thunder that's my shit that's 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 my song. anywho guys uh i will let you guys go oh what I wanted, the message I wanted to say is, yeah, sticking out, putting out positivity, um, is stay, be, stay grateful. Um, I know it's hard to say with a lot of things going on. A lot of people are without homes and family and lights. And I know in my life, you guys only can see certain parts of what I show you, but things are not where I would like it to be. Things are not where I want it to be. Things are happening that I wish I could control and change but i cannot but i had to remember to stay grateful for the things i do have i can't look to others and say well why i don't have that you know my friends who are doing well who have their own doing this and i'm like but what did i do wrong the reason why i'm not 
there. I have to remember to stay grateful and continue to work on Nadia. So I just want to say that to you guys. I know things are hectic, crazy, <sighs> dangerous, scary out in the world. But you have to remember to stay grateful for the small, even if it's the small things. Even if it's just one good friend in your life or one good family member that has your back. Or even if it's just the job that you have and you're able to pay bills and put clothes in your bag. Or even if you just have a roof over your head and it's safe. A safe roof over your head where you feel safe and you can be yourself. You just have to remember to be grateful for for the small things. I, you know what I'm saying? Don't get caught up on what she's doing or he's doing and what they're doing. And the, me not being able to travel and spend money and go out with my friends all the time. But I have to just remember to be grateful. Now, one of the things I'm grateful for is that I get to sit down in front of the camera and talk to you guys and create stuff for you guys. And that I have family and friends that are so understanding and supportive. Not all of them. Most of them. The ones that are important. My family that's important. That supports me and understands. And my friends that rock with me. I just have to be grateful for them and I want you guys to remember that when all the tough times and hard times that whether you're going through or someone you know are going through or just you see that out in the world. Okay guys? Alright, this video has got longer than I anticipated. I only want it to be 10 minutes and I feel like it's going to be 15. Damn it. Anywho guys, thank you so much for watching and always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Woo.